Uh, thank you guys for joining us. We'll discuss uh, satellite management controller architecture for storage devices. I'm Chang Ho Choi. I'm a senior director of engineering in Samsung based in San Jose. My, colle my colleague uh, BJ Kim is a system architect uh, uh, based in uh, DSK, uh, uh, Korea Samsung. Last year, we presented a device management control that is uh, effective out of band uh, device management system architecture. As we promised at that time, we continued working on, on this uh, uh, controller architecture evolution and we refined uh, and we extended uh, some features uh, uh, as we promised. First, uh, I will refresh our memory and I will start uh, with incumbent uh, storage device management uh, architecture. After that, my colleague uh, BJ will uh, discuss uh, satellite management controller architecture for storage devices and SMC benefit. We'll wrap up our, our presentation with a call to action. This is uh, one kind of uh, management architecture, especially for SSD. As you see here, there is uh, two main paths. One is in-band and the other one is out-of-band uh, for the management. In -band, through the in-band path, uh, inside the SSD, we have a processing unit that is, you could uh, consider it as a storage uh, controller. So, Storage controller collects uh, many SSD data, including device status and sensor data and telemetry information. We also have an uh, out of band pass. Uh, inside SSD, we maintain some vital product data in EEP ROM. And through the BMC and out of band, we could retrieve some vital product data. Uh, from the SSD. But what if a uh, processing unit inside a device fails? In this case, uh, we cannot reach out uh, any uh, data such as device status and telemetry information and sensor data. And in-band paths will not be available anymore. Then we could leverage out-of-band paths. But uh, EEPROM is uh, small, and only little data will be hosted in EEPROM, and we could retrieve uh, almost uh, little data from uh, EEPROM. Finally, uh, current BMC that is working on the out of band pass, there is uh, no security protections. So data is not secured anymore from uh, out-of-band paths. So uh, to address these issues, we discussed the uh, device management controller and we extended it to the satellite management controller. With this uh, satellite management controller, we could uh, enhance and extend the storage devices uh, out of the management capabilities, such as uh, uh, collecting device status and failure information even though device processing unit fails. Also, we could improve uh, the stability of uh, storage devices uh, out of the management. This uh, includes uh, some uh, failure, pro failure detection and prediction data also. We could uh, enhance response capability of a storage device to system errors. For example, if a system uh, experiences any issues uh, such as a PSU fails or fan fails, uh, the system sends some alert to the device. And then the device could take uh, some preventative actions to overcome some uh, host side uh, issues. Finally, we could provide secure and reliable out-of-band management uh, solutions 
with uh, this SMC uh, approach. Yeah, my colleague will discuss uh, on one exemplary SMC implementation that Samsung implemented in our device. Thank you, uh, Dr. Choi. Uh, nice to meet you. This is BJ. Uh, and I'm in charge of developing SMC POC product and specification. Now, I'd like to hear about SMC details. This architecture is now final and under developing, so many feedbacks and communication from this community can make it better. And welcome any advice and opinions. Okay, I think in the perspective of outdoor band management, the most important requirement is the always on operation function. I mean that the device must be able to transmit the status of the device when the BMC requests anytime, no matter what failure occurs in the server system and device uh, such as firmware error, component and power failures. Among them, let's consider the power failure case. In this case, the device management controller must use the auxiliary power of the server and follow the power consumption specification of the device form factor. Uh, you know, uh, in case of the SSD form factor, uh, unlike the adding car device, the auxiliary power consumption spec is very low limited. So it is very difficult to use a high performance management controller, which has ARM cores. So for example, the UDA2, you know, uh, it is limited to five, just five milliampere. And the EDSF form factor is limited to 20 milliampere so very low. So the micro management controller must be used and functions also has to be limited. Because of this point, we came to think about a structure called logical SMC. In the normal operation, the management service is performed through the main controller of the SSD. And in the exceptional case or failure situation, the microcontroller replaces uh, it. The second thing is the bandwidth of the outer band interface. Currently, uh, the outer interface is I2C, as you know. But uh, the number of and size of SSD's tumble, telemetry data are increasing. So we need more things. But fortunately, there are, um, yeah, you know, uh, currently there are more than 100 Samsung telemetry items and the data size reaches over megabytes. Therefore, it is necessary to be changed the out of band interface. Uh, fortunately, our industry is considering adopting I3C in the form factor standards of PCI SIG and Senior. The third thing is the secret part. Like in-band, out-of-band also needs security features to protect data. Uh, however, uh, more discussion is needed on this part. For example, uh, it requires discussion whether a protocol such as uh, SPDM, Secure Platform Data Model, is sufficient or a separate hardware logic such as uh, trust, trust platform module or ROT is required. So it has to be uh, discussed more. This page is shows the figure on the right is the software stack of SMC. Currently, SMC POC set has been developed to support both NVMe MI and PLDM. Uh, some customers ask, asked to me why SSD must use NVMe MI as a management protocol. 
you know, uh, PLDM is a commonly used protocol for management, but, but the data format is focused on delivering simple information such as sensor data. So it is necessary to review whether PLDM can be used for data with large size such as telemetry. So we want to find answers uh, in this commu community or OCP for those problems that may arise in out-of-band management. And we, and we expect that this will prevent the requirements fragmentation of the out-of-band management system. And it will contribute to increase the management efficiency of the cloud service. This page is a summary of the features that SMC architecture uh, must uh, support. So maybe you can see the protocol API support and ease of operation and maintenance and security. So I can, I will move on to the next page. So uh, in order to verify this SMC architecture, we cooperated with INSPIR using uh, SS3 reference system called Poseidon. We developed and verified SMC POC SSD set and co-developed and co-verified the uh, SMC features on based on OpenBMC and OpenRMC. Um, I'd like to closing this presentation. Well, we want to contribute our knowledge to OCP and develop it more through OCP collaboration, what we have learned through SMC POC. Uh, so, uh, if you want to collaborate with us, uh, please contact Chang Wei and me. And also, the SMC demonstration is provide, uh, prepared as a video on Samsung Boost. So please watch it if you have time. Thank you. Yeah, I, I missed the one thing, so I just want to add one more th things. Just for information, we are working with uh, Google and uh, other industry leaders uh, to develop uh, this uh, SMC requirement and some kind of a uh, spec. Okay. So uh, we'll take uh, any questions if you have. So, um, so I have a question on whether you'll be uh, available for the session tomorrow by the hardware track because we will be talking about both uh, PODM and MCTP, and you can pose your question about uh, when NVMe and I might be get integrated into that document. So, will you both be available? That's, is your question is when will be available no, for no. the PLDM integration with uh, no. NVMe and I? No. The question is, are you going to be available tomorrow morning to be at the OCP session of hardware manageability? Because that is a topic um, you guys could discuss there. Sure. Yeah. 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 You could do it. Yeah. yeah. I okay. can do it. Yeah. Okay. Any other question? Okay. Maybe yeah. the question to the audience Do you guys see um, the value in uh, the devices providing uh, the red face space mechanism? <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, thank you for your attention. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.